Hello everybody, welcome to my newest review and this time it's going to be the Elvis movie. I saw it last night and I gotta tell you, before I start giving my thoughts about this movie, I just have to say, when I first saw the trailer for the newest Elvis and I didn't even know they were making an Elvis movie, but when I first saw it, it was like, it must have been April, I think, because uh, that's... Me, I we saw the trailer on in the theater when we saw the fantastic fantastic uh, beast, the newest one. Uh, me, my mom, and my oldest brother. And when when we saw the trailer, my mom and I we was just looking at each other with and just was, I just said, "We have to see this. This is a must. We have to see this movie." My oldest brother he was like, "Eh, it's going to be boring. You're gonna be disappointed." But with a little bit of persuasion, we managed to get him to come and see this movie with us, my mom and I. And we saw it very late. And I have to tell you, oh my god. <laughs> oh crap, you, the director, uh, what, is, what is his name, Lorman something, you nailed this. Holy crap. This was a, I don't know, this is a movie of the year, just like Top Gun Maverick. It's so hard to now say which of these two deserves to be the movie of the year. I have to say Elvis is the movie of the year. Wow, that was a such a great performance by Austin Butler. He has rewoke some sort of, uh, uh, what do you call it, hope for Acting and entertainment. I mean, the, I started to do a little bit of um, digging about this movie. I was like, is this going to be like a typical uh, mimic, uh, imposter kind of thing about Elvis? But no, Austin has put a lot of time, like years of his life, to dedicate for this role. And I gotta say, it pays off. Wow, what a performance he, he does in this movie as a Elvis. I'm not going to spoil too much. I mean, it's Elvis. You all know uh, how good, how it how it went. I mean, I'm not a big Elvis fan, but I do like some of his uh, music. As an actor, uh, he has done some movies and all that, but yeah, he's not like a he, he's not an actor. He's a mu musician, pure and pure. But my 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 mom was like, she, she was born in the '60s, in the early '60s. And she remembers very little about uh, Elvis. She was like 14 when he died in 1977, I think it was. She asked, like, is, is it Elvis that sings in these movies or is it the actor? I was like, no, it's the actor who, who actually sings a lot of Elvis uh, songs in his movie. I think it's towards the end of the movie they started to like mixture like blend the real Elvis with Austin and it works wow like you hoo, hoo, hoo. The Austin my dude you deserve an award like if this if he doesn't get any kind of award by the end of this year I'm going to call out the uh, Hollywood and all that sort of thing and all kind of entertainment who doesn't give this man a Oscar something, I'm going to be mad. Like, this guy deserves so many awards. Wow, what a performance. Especially some of my favorite songs he uh, from Elvis, when he performs it. I mean, I couldn't, I actually started dancing in my seat. Ew. And even my brother, my oldest one, who said like, this is going to be a disappointment. He actually came out like, wow, that was actually a really good movie. <laughs> because it did feel a little bit weird in the beginning, but otherwise it was just such a good movie. Wow, the music, the performance, especially from Austin Butler and Tom Hanks as the Colonel. And there was a lot of times I was like, is that Tom Hanks? I just don't recognize him. I mean... You have to give credits to the the makeup artists in from this movie. They do a really good job. I mean, I haven't seen such a 
great acting and performance from actors in such a long time. I mean, the Russian World Dominion, fuck that movie, fuck all the actors, except a few of them. But just like I said with uh, Chris Pratt, I, I don't want to <laughs> hate on him, but as I said, he is just an actor who plays the same character in all of his movies, except for few. And then you have, I think the last time I felt like, wow, that was such a great performance in this movie. It must have been Lighthouse uh, with uh, Robert Patterson and William Defoe, who they act different, they behave different, they talk different, and it just, it immerses you. And this movie, it immerses you like so much. Like you feel like you're actually sit. It's a, you feel like you're sitting in some sort of wheelchair following Elvis all around. It, it's so freaking good, this movie. I cannot wait to see this in my home field. And I also moved from uh, moved from my apartment out to, to the new house in the country. I, oh my god, finally. Fuck the cities. I'm so sick and tired of living in the cities right now. Oh, and thankfully the internet is awesome here. Oh, it's so finally, finally, finally. But anyway, the movie. So the movie is very, how should we say it? It's two hours. Maybe a little bit more. But generally two hours. And it's like, it it jumps uh, a lot. Like I think, in, you know, the typical three stages of movies. It jumps a lot. Like the first stages you see him mostly in the 50. 50s yes and a little bit of his childhood then you have like the, the second stage where it's like the 1960s to the early 1970s and then you have the third stage which is basically in the end of his life uh, in the 19 mid 19 no yeah like from ni- mid 1970s to like the 1977 and the performance of all the, the, the woman who plays Priscilla. Oh, she's, she's everybody does such a great fucking performance in this movie. Oh my god. All the movies I've seen so far in this this year has been either pure shit garbage or just awesome because of its action, just like Top Top Gun Maverick. But this movie, it, it's, I, you have to see this. Wow, you have to see this movie. Like, my rating for this movie, from 1 to 10, is a straight 9. There are some things that I can say, like, nah, 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 like that. But I was, it was such a great movie. I, this is one of those movies I'm putting along on the top of masterpieces right now. Wow! <laughs> you can hear me. Like, the, I am the opposite what I was for Jurassic World Dominion or uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi or the Fantastic Beast. Movies that have connections and series that have connections to my childhood, like Star Wars, Jurassic Park, Harry Potter. Like, why is everything so fucking shit? And then you have Elvis, which I only have like some of his music and see, read some of, some books about him. All of a sudden, in one movie, completely just take a fucking train and put, just crash into the other movies and just pulverize them. Because they're so bad. And here you have one movie, there's everybody just, just crushing everything else. And also, the only series this year, I think it, yeah, I think it was this year, right? Which was um, Pam and Tom, uh, the, the series that follow the sex tape scandals of Pam Lanshon and uh, Tom Lee. And the performance in that series is actually really good. So even though it's more like a parody kind of thing, a slight parody of the real life, it's still a really fantastic performance. And uh, and from the makeups, uh, whoever do, do the makeups in that series, it's also really good because the girl, I don't remember, Kelly something, right? Who play uh, plays Pamela Anderson? I mean, Sebastian is the one who play uh, uh, Tommy Lee, and he actually got uh, to know Tommy Lee, met him, and uh, asked him about his how he was and everything. Like he got a little bit of help. While Kelly, I think it was, who wanted who played Pamela Anderson, 
tried to contact uh, contact Pamela about that, but she didn't want anything to do with uh, the series. So she have to work, she have to study, she have to look, she have to see how Pamela Anderson was in the nineties. And then you have Austin Butler who have to go, who who say who who you can who says like. He took two fucking years of his life to study just Elvis. And the result is fantastic. And I cannot wait to see this guy in performing other movies. Apparently he's going to be in the new Doom movies, Doom Part 2. I, I love the first one. Man. It was such a great movie as well. Performance-wise, visualized soundtrack and all that. I cannot wait till the Doom Part 2. Not to just because of Austin Butler, but a lot of things. But Austin Butler is probably one of the small things to it. But people, why do you like Jurassic World Dominion? Fuck that movie. Sh- take a garbage on it. Look at Tonka Merrick. Look at Elvis. These two movies have re- re- rewoken sort of way uh, from, to see movies. Oh my god, how you... And, oh, it's so sad. It's so sad and depressing sort of way to see great legacies, great movie legacies being torn apart and shit on by actors and directors, and especially writers. I gotta say, Austin Butler, you're fantastic in this movie. You did a magical performance as Elvis. I I wish you the best of fucking luck in the continue in, in your car- continuous career. You did awesome in this movie, and so did a lot of people in this in this movie. Like as I said, performance wise, makeup, music. Oh my god, go and see Elvis. <laughs>